hello everyone. I'm Maritza Barone and welcome to my podcast, Things You Can't Unhear. I have recently become involved with the Random Acts of Kindness Foundation, which they have so dearly called us Ractivists, which is Random Acts of Kindness Activists. It's not something I was invited to do. It was just something that I was inspired to be a part of because in kindness, we find peace. Today I want to talk about the simple act of kindness as a way to transform the lives of others so easily and incredibly impact your own life in a fascinating way. If you look up the meaning of kindness, it's defined as doing something for someone and not expecting anything in return through a kind act, tendency to be kind and forgiving, the quality of being warm-hearted, considerate, humane and sympathetic. It doesn't seem like a big deal, does it? But how many times are we just too busy or too focused on our own families and own lives to stop and consciously decide to be kind to everyone who crosses our path? That means everyone, the person in traffic in front of you who's trying to merge into your lane that we're too sometimes stubborn to let in because we've been waiting too long to let them in, the quiet teenager at the supermarket checkout scanning your groceries, the kid at your school who eats lunch alone every day, the homeless woman you walk past five times a week asking for some food, a family member who's going through depression that you haven't seen in a while, or the neighbour whose wife just left him. You know, the point is here that we're all going through something and the simple element of human connection and kindness could be that one thing that one day could start to shift the way we feel about ourselves. Literally by showing kindness, you can be the person to so easily make that shift in another. When we change, even minimally, we don't realize the giant effect it can have on our lives. So it may feel frightening to walk up to that person on the street and start a conversation. It may feel uncomfortable to call your neighbor who you don't know very well to ask him if he's okay. It may feel embarrassing to go up to that kid at school sitting by himself and ask him if he wants to join you and your friends. But it's only uncomfortable for a minute and then it's not. And then you've done something so significant to elevate the experience in someone else's life. When you look at the world through the lens of kindness and not fear, you start to see things differently. Last week, it was bitterly cold where I live here in Melbourne. It still is actually. And I couldn't even stand being outside without a scarf and a puffy coat for more than five minutes. The wind was freezing and so frosty and it made my fingers and toes numb and I walked past my local supermarket and there were three homeless men standing out front trying to keep warm just from the heating coming out of the store. They were unwashed, unshaven, were struggling with mental health issues I think and were freezing cold and many times in my life I would have just been too scared to speak to them. But I went beyond my fear. I went home, I picked up a few coats we hadn't worn in years that were collecting dust in my cupboard drove back and handed it to them and they, they, they reached out their hands to take them. Their hands were filled with dirt and they were hungry and they were shivering. But wow, did they appreciate these, these jackets. These are just human beings, just like us. What, you know, born as little babies, just like us. And it cost me nothing to hand over those coats. And I'm certainly not labeling myself as a hero. I've just shifted my perspective from fear to kindness and I saw more than what I have previously seen. I went beyond my own preferences and preconceived thoughts. We're all here to help each other. You know, we actually can't exist without each other and there's over 7 billion people in the world and I know we can't help everyone but we can help someone and it all just starts with one. And the thing is, if you think kindness just benefits the people that are receiving it, think again. Just let's look at the science behind kindness for a minute. Kindness boosts your mood, your energy, and even your heart health. It reduces your anxiety, depression, and even physical pain. And this is not only for the person receiving it. As I said, this is for the person giving it. Like most medical antidepressants, kindness stimulates the production of serotonin. 
the, this is the feel-good chemical that heals your wounds, calms you down and makes you happy. About half of the participants in a recent study reported that they felt stronger and more energetic after helping others. Many of them also reported feeling calmer and less depressed with increased feelings of self-worth. And just witnessing acts of kindness produce oxytocin, which is occasionally referred to as a love hormone, which aids in lowering blood pressure and improving our overall heart health. It's amazing. So scientifically, chemically, and emotionally, we are all built to be kind. I'm planning on starting a ripple effect of kindness in my community. Why don't you join me? Thanks for listening to Things You Can't Unhear and for all of the listener support that I've had. We have some eye-opening and inspiring interviews coming up and some awesome new brand partners that are joining the show, including Prana Chai. Stay tuned now to meet one of their founders and owners tell us their story. For those of you who know me well, know how much I love tea. Now, literally, I've replaced my lingo of let's catch up for a coffee to let's catch up for a chai. So it suited perfectly when I was selecting brands to partner with me on this podcast that I speak to Prana Chai. And they've actually been with me in every meeting as I've sipped and enjoyed a warm Prana Chai latte. Today, I have one of the Prana Chai founders with me, Vincent Conti. And I wanted to introduce you to him as their brand story and message is a great one. Thank you very, very much for being here with me today. Now, you're one of three owners of the Prana Chai brand. Correct. Tell us about the friendships and the partnerships that's formed within the brand. Uh, Well, Mario and myself, who have been great mates since we were four years of age playing soccer together in the mud. Uh, So when we were 23, we we decided to leave Melbourne and had a chance to to travel the world. So we got a one-year return ticket which turned into four years, oh, how which good. was fantastic. And we had, uh, you know, amazing adventures through five continents, 40 odd countries. And one of the, um, places through Nepal and India, we, we, we stumbled upon chai, which we loved. And our whole plan was to, all right, let's bring something back from around the world, something different and put it into our own cafe. We came up with this recipe. And it was one day that a lady said, can I buy some? I really like it. So we, uh, we made a little container of chai and uh, sold it for, I can't remember how much. And so the light bulb went on. We saw the enjoyment people were getting and they were you know, bringing friends in to come and try it. And uh, so I went out one day with the esky full of little samples of chai and a, and a product list and... Um, Went out and I think I got about six or seven cafes on in, in a, a couple of weeks. And then it's just grown from there. At, so, at what year was that? 2009, I would say, 2008. Yeah. So not so, a, a really long time ago because in that 10 years, you have taken mm, this brand globally. It's mm, quite incredible where it's gone to at this point. It's, it's been a great story. We're still... Look at what we've achieved and how it's all come about. And, and a lot of it's been a very organic movement, I guess, you know. So where did the name come from? So prana means a life force energy. Right. So if you drink, you know, water or tea and you eat uh, good foods, it, it fills you with life force energy. So there are plenty of health benefits when it comes to drinking tea. Mm-hmm. What are the key ingredients in your chai that give us great health benefits? Uh, Well, you've got cloves, amazing for healing the stomach. Uh, Honey, which nourishes the skin and is a natural antiseptic. So that's what is the final mix when we roll this beautiful Australian honey that we have. Um, So when you open a bag, it's fresh, it's exciting, it looks alive. And uh, ginger, so ginger is amazing for immunity. Also cardamom, it's very good for... Freshening the breath, but also good for your stomach as well. So a lot of these spices have come from the Ayurvedic healing system, which obviously has been you know, used in that particular type of medicine for years and years. And then also you've got the beautiful black tea, which is packed full of antioxidants, which helps fight the free radicals. Drank with uh, plant-based 
milks, so your almond, soy, oat. It's amazing. And then you're still looking at that health side of things as well rather than full cream or skinny milk. You have a, a quite a um, an interesting outlook on life and you're quite – fair and you you share abundance and you're very um your purpose and your mission in your brand is quite quite lovely. Mm. Would you mind sharing a bit of your your outlook on on life and how you bring that into your business? Well, thank you for the compliment. I I think our philosophy, you know, Mario and I when we started it, we we're pretty laid back sort of guys and we saw a lot when we traveled. Especially we traveled mostly through the second and third world continents, a lot through Africa. Um, you know, parts of Asia and Central and South America. I think it's sort of instilled in us this, you know, what are we worrying about so much? There's people that have got a lot less than what we do, but yet we're wrapped up in this society where we've got to have more. We've got to have the latest. And I guess when we started our cafe, it was about you come into our cafe, we had a box out the front, you leave all your crap in your box, come in and sit down and be yourself. I love that. And then when you leave, you can take your crap with you as you go. Mm. And that was sort of our, and it was, it was a great, and all our coffee shops have been the same. And, you know, with my staff, it's all about, you know, just treat them like you would like to be treated. You know, I think it's just, you know, the power of being able to look someone in the eye and just to say, hi, how are you, you know, is, is, is an amazing gift. And to serve someone graciously without expecting anything in return is one of the the greatest gifts you can give somebody. It's a key definition of what kindness is, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. Yeah. So we like, you know, we're not out there to take over the world. We just, we've got a beautiful product. We believe, we know that it, it heals people and it, it also gives cafes an opportunity to, to have a fantastic product that's going to actually generate them some more income, but also give their customers an experience that we know once you, you know, you, you're pouring your, your pot of prana chai out and you're having a sip with your girlfriends or whoever at the cafe, that's... that's They're the cherished moments that yeah, we all wait for. Exactly. Yeah. And we're very lucky that the product is sort of, you know, we, we, make, we, we spend every day still mixing it by hand. It's made with love. We hand pack it and seal it. You know, we only use the best spices, but, you know, from our staff that... that you know, work around the world to the guys that run the factory and we're still in there every day, you know, having fun. You know, we, it doesn't have to be too serious. Looks like there's a bright future ahead for all of you and you've made this amazing brand and this amazing life for yourself and you're spreading joy and happiness and health benefits. So congratulations on everything. And thank you. Thank you for being part of the show and supporting me on my podcast journey as well. And, um, if you haven't already sipped on a prana chai, please make sure you do because you don't know what you're missing. You may never drink coffee again, but I'm sorry to all the coffee drinkers. This is way better. <laughs> now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the show and leave us a rating and review. I would also love to hear from all of our listeners with questions, ideas, or perhaps suggesting someone who you think would be great on the show. You can find me on Instagram at Maritza underscore Barone. Be happy, be healthy, be conscious, and be kind.